Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So some people have asked me, how much hydrogen should I be using? Now, as far as inhalation is concerned, and I can go into my protocol in a separate video, but this is really important. Before I begin, I'm not giving you any medical advice and I'm not making any medical claims, guys. But what I will tell you is that the data that I'm going off of, because there's conflicting data out there, there's literally conflicting data, and I had to dig so much in order to get these answers for you guys. What I, the reason that there's conflicting data is because some of the data is from Japan, top universities over there, and then some data is actually coming out from China now, and it's conflicting. And upon doing more research, the Japanese appear to trust their data. They're not trusting the Chinese data. I've been digging and finding that it's very possible that the Chinese data is actually kind of manipulated a little bit into the sense that companies are trying to fund their studies and making numbers to fit you know, their little narrative. Uh, with the Japanese, it doesn't seem to be wor uh, working that way. In fact, it's something that's very strict in Japan. And you know, a lot of people talk about Nagoya University. They're not the top in hydrogen research. The top hydrogen research is coming from a place called Keio University in Japan. They're the number one university that researches and studies hydrogen. When somebody's extremely ill, like a heart attack, their heart stops, something of this nature, stroke, the amount of hydrogen that they're using is about 130 milliliters per minute of pure hydrogen gas. That's what they're using for extremely ill patients. Uh, speaking to people over there, they're basically saying that lower numbers they believe would be totally fine for a regular person that's quote unquote healthy. Having a machine like the Hydrofix, like this premium edition, putting out roughly about 130 milliliters per minute, they're saying is kind of overkill. They almost call this one like the medical edition over there because they have different editions of this device. And the premium edition appears to be like their medical edition. It's putting out more hydrogen gas than the normal original edition that I've done videos before I think they put out just shy of about 30 milliliters per minute of hydrogen gas. And even that they were showing to be effective. They were doing studies and they could see that it was effective. 130 is kind of overkill. That's what I'm finding out. You don't really need more than this. And if you wanted more hydrogen gas, all you'd have to do is just inhale for a longer period of time. So if you wanted to do an extra 30 minutes, you, you would get more hydrogen gas. Because it's not so much about the 130 milliliters per minute. I mean, they're finding out that when you're at your peak health, your body makes around 1,000 milliliters of hydrogen gas. So all you really want to do is reach that number. And with 130 milliliters per minute in 30 minutes, you're way beyond 1,000. And so what I've been discovering based on, you know, anecdotal evidence, people the way they're using it, how they feel, me too. And then also just seeing people's results. Uh, what I'm finding is about, about a good hour, hour and a half is like maximum, I don't wanna say overkill, but that's a really good amount. And then people always ask me, can I do too much? I don't think that you can really do too much hydrogen as long as you're making it cleanly. That's always a, a big caveat because like, for example, some Brown's gas machines that use chemicals, like lye especially, there's no way that I would be inhaling that stuff. Well, not even for 30 minutes. I, I've used those before and they, they hurt my lungs. Um, you really wanna make sure that the hydrogen is pure and then I'm, I'm following the science from Japan. That's the one that I'm trusting. I'm not following the science from China or anywhere else. It's the Japanese data that I'm gathering and I'm sharing with you guys because it appears to be the most accurate. That's the reason that I'm sharing this information with you guys. So as far as the amount that you would need, I would say that 130 milliliters per minute is definitely a very good amount. That's what the top university in the world that researches hydrogen, that's the amount that they use. And I'm also finding out that these top, not just these uh, medic, there's I believe 20 major hospitals in Japan using hydrogen, but there's a ton of like medical centers, medical clinics and stuff like that. And I'm finding out that those places actually are in contact with the number one hydrogen company in the world, which is the one that makes a device that I like the Hydrofix. And they actually make special requests for them. So they can request like they did, for example, we want you know about 130 milliliters of hydrogen gas per minute. So they, 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 everything they've done to accommodate on the device is from the science. So they see what works and then they make the hydrogen in a very high grade manner, meaning really clean, really pure, the proper levels. And then of course they're lab tested. That no company in the world actually lab tests and certifies their equipment because I've noticed that a lot of people out there have even taken videos of the Hydrofix and they are completely testing it wrong. I mean, I hate to say it, but it kind of shows that they don't really know how to test it properly. And that's what I've observed. And so there, the actual company does have a YouTube channel. I, I think it's called, I think it's just called Holy Hydrogen. And they have videos, and I've posted some before, on how to actually measure the hydrogen gas correctly and also how to measure the hydrogen in the water correctly because there, there's, there's ways that are not the proper, correct way to do it. 
And it's just, hydrogen is so difficult to understand in a lot of ways. I've been trying to make it really simple for everybody. And so I'm hoping that this helps everybody understand how much hydrogen is the right amount. And I will do my best to continue to bring this information to you guys so you guys get the most factual, accurate data coming from Japan, the place that really started it all. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.